We begin with breaking news overnight. Three Americans are hailed as heroes for foiling an attack on a high-speed train in Europe. Cell phone video shows them holding the suspect captive on the train with him tied up on the floor. The train was traveling between Amsterdam and Paris on Friday. Two of the Americans who tackled and disarmed the gunmen are military personnel. A French counter-terror prosecutor is now handling the investigation. Jonathan Vigliotti is in our London bureau with the latest. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. All three are childhood friends. One serves in the Air Force, another served in the National Guard, and the third studies physical therapy. Their lives took different paths as adults, but they were together on that train returning from holiday. And officials say if not for them, last night could have been far more tragic. Handgun. Cell phone video shows the suspected gunman hogtied on the ground. The knots that hold him still, the handiwork of 22-year-old National Guardsman Alex Scarlatos and his two friends. I saw a guy entering the train with an AK and a handgun, and I just looked over at Spencer and said, let's go, go, and he jumped up, and I followed behind him by about three seconds. Spencer got to the guy first. Spencer Stone, an Air Force serviceman, grabbed the suspect by the neck and tackled him to the floor. The gun was fired, but Scarlatos disarmed the attacker. The third friend, Anthony Sadler, then helped Stone administer first aid to the injured passengers. We saw that um, a man's throat had been slit and he was bleeding profusely. Officials say three people were injured, including Stone, who is being treated for cuts to his hand. The arsenal that was later recovered from the scene hints at what could have happened had the three friends not intervened. The suspect had an assault rifle, a handgun, and a knife, along with nearly a dozen magazine clips. The gunman has been identified as a 26-year-old Moroccan who was known to intelligence services. Over 500 people were on board the train from Amsterdam to Paris, including this Chicago tourist who watched in shock as the friends sprung to action. So then they were asking, these two gentlemen were asking people, um, you know, do, can we have your tie? Um, do you have a blanket, a scarf, just to help um, stop the bleeding? France has been on high alert since Islamist extremists attacked the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo in January. In June, another terrorist beheaded his boss and attempted to blow up a gas plant. Yesterday, France's interior minister thanked the Americans, saying without them, the country could have faced a terrible tragedy. France's president is scheduled to meet with these heroes in the coming days. Officials say the gunman is a known Islamic extremist who has visited Syria. He is currently in police custody being questioned. Anthony. So fortunate they were on the train. Jonathan Vigliotti in London. Thanks.